All right, in this uh, recording, we're going to work on um, just really quickly UV mapping uh, a character. Well, I was going to retope this character, but I think it's it's fine. It's about 8,000 uh, polygons, which is pretty heavy for a body, but um, don't want to retope it and lose a lot of the details of the character's fingers and toes. So we'll go ahead and bring it in. Hit shift to hold it, uh, constrain it into an upright position. Go ahead and hit edit and uh, change my skin tone so it's not so uh, dark on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and turn everything off. Uh, I've already shown uh, how to get the, the pants, and I think it's where the pants are really heavy. This is like uh, almost 2 million. I showed you how to uh, go to a lower division and make a normal map for that. Uh, turn everything off, just the body. Go up to the body, and I, I, I was about to retope this really quickly, um, but I noticed it was only 8,953 polys. Um, kind of heavy, but uh, really not worth going in and retoping. I'm really afraid to lose the details of the ears and eyes, and uh, we've done this before. Um, we lost a lot uh, with the fingers and the toes. So let's just go ahead. <coughs> Excuse me, and keep it like this. Um, really quickly, we're just going to uh, UV master it. Uh, UV master. And we'll hit unwrap. It should go pretty quickly. Okay, and then we're not going to create like a normal map like we did with the uh, leggings and so forth. And we're going to go into. Uh, Poly paint or texture map, I'm sorry. Uh, texture map, we hit create, open this up, and we hit uh, create from poly paint. So you've already done all the painting and so forth, that's fantastic. And we're gonna go ahead and clone this, and you can see it goes, pops up here, and we're gonna go to texture. And we're gonna flip it uh, upside down because uh, for Maya, it, it'll need it flipped. Go ahead and export this out. And I'm going to go ahead and call it uh, mouse. And we're going to make it as a JPEG. Hit save. Okay. Hit OK. All right. And then we also want to save this out uh, as a Maya file. So we're going to go save as desktop uh, instead of Z tool. We're actually. I'm not going to do that. We're going to export. I'm sorry. Export instead of a Maya. Uh, OBJ, we're going to do a Maya because sometimes when we do an object file, it kind of splinters it. So we're going to go uh, mouse 4 MA, hit save. Again, you'll need to do that for each of the objects you've done. But again, uh, we've, we've done it for the pants. And you can see this is our normal map that we have with the high 6 million polygon and then our high end texture for it. So you should be able to kind of cobble that stuff together. Um, also, I'll show you probably how you can probably delete a lot of these polygons uh, in the pants because we don't need uh, the polys in here. So I'll show you uh, that student class how to do that and probably some of the corset stuff we can probably get rid of the under uh, skin there because you won't need it when you're in the gaming environment. All right, so I'm just going to open up uh, Maya really quickly. Okay, and I've, I've shown everyone uh, some tutorials on Mixamo, so you'll hopefully today you'll be able to get this all running and working. Okay, so we're just going to import our uh, character. And I think we called it mouse something something MA. There we go, import. Okay. Select it's a little small, it's fine. Uh, so you can see right now if we hit uh, three or one, it's a, kind of a, a facet or a polygonal uh, look to it. And we're gonna go over that really quickly so it shows up nice and smooth and Maya. All right, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and go to attribute editor. 
I go to blend. Probably would definitely want to assign a new material. I'm just doing the, doing the default, and uh, I'll go ahead and go over that. We go to rendering, lighting, shading, uh, assign new material, and we don't want a Lambert. We don't want it shiny. Uh, so do a Lambert. Go to the checkerboard uh, file uh, to the folder desktop, and we'll find the mouse uh, JPEG. And again, it's flipped upside down, and um, ZBrush. If it wasn't, you can always go into Photoshop and flip on hor on the horizontal line. Hit open. All right, so you won't see it. We can go uh, to uh, four wireframe. Five is shaded, and six will show off uh, your textures. All right. So if you don't see it, again, four is wireframe. Five is shaded, and six is wireframe. All right. So we do want this to kind of look smooth. Right now, it's really. Uh, you know, an 80s look again. This is 8,000 polys. It's a little high, but um, I think it's fine. It's actually not that bad in the geometry. All right, so I'm going to select it and we're going to go and uh, make this smooth. We're going to go back to modeling. I think it's in edit mesh or mesh, mesh tools. I'm looking for something called soft uh, edge, and I think. Always move this around. Mesh display. All right, all right. So mesh dis display. Again, they've moved it uh, each year. They move it around. Uh, so we're gonna go up to soften edge. All right, and you'll you'll see what happens. Okay, so I click off of it, and you can see uh, what it looked like before. It was very polygonal, and for soften edge. And when you save this, this will uh, translate over into uh, Unreal. And double check, uh, once we hand this off to the students, it's working with Unreal, uh, make sure that softened edge is working. You'll want to do this with the corset and uh, the pants. Make sure all the geometry is softened edge. And again, uh, make sure you delete by type the history and all this so it's super light in the game engine. But I think 8,000 uh, is a lot, but again, I think it's going to work well uh, with an Unreal uh, game engine. All right, uh, good luck and putting in the rest of the assets. Once you're done with that, export out as OBJ and then work with Mixamo, and you should have your mouse either doing a, a breathing cycle or some sort of fighting cycle if you want. All right, good luck again.